Guys, I have a problem. And that problem's name is Carly Rae Jepsen. So let me give you a timeline of how things happen. A couple of weeks ago, um, I was just um, kind of feeling down on myself. And um, I really, you know, just not having a good month. August was very difficult for me uh, for many reasons. And um, my, like many of you know, like music is a uh, escapism for me. It's a good distraction or me to express my emotions and everything. So, but I needed new music because all the old music I had, too many memories of too many people, too many things, too many experiences. I need something fresh, I need something new. So, I always, uh, I follow a lot of music people and uh, I remember re uh, hearing and reading um, some music uh, reviews about Carly Jepsen that she made new music after Call Me Maybe. Um, so I decided to listen to her new music and her albums uh, after uh, that. And um, I've become obsessed with her. I fall in love with her. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'll be the first to admit that Call Me Maybe is in the greatest song ever. It's kind of annoying, honestly, especially through radio play. I think everyone was kind of sick of it by the end of 2012 or and 2013, right? So, so um, and then she released a couple more singles, but they weren't as good. So people kind of forgot about her, but she did release an album, a follow-up album in 2015, which is Emotion. And in that, the single was I Really, Really, Really Like You. And it sounds kind of like a like an okay follow-up to Call Me Maybe, but also kind of annoying, but it wasn't as catchy. It did have Tom Hanks in the music video, so people like that. But once again, it, it wasn't as good, and I think it, she uh, people pigeonholed her as uh, a Class B, Class C Taylor Swift, right? But the thing is, this album, like that shouldn't have been the single. What should have been the single was is Run Away With Me. Just play that song and what you will hear are these weird kind of distorted um, saxophones. And then you hear Carly Rae Jepsen's Run away with you. very calm, soothing voice and just her just wanting. All she wants is to spend time with this person. It's almost like a pleading. It's almost like Will you come with me? Will you hang out with me? Will you spend, like, do hang out on this adventure with me? Um, and that's the thing I like about her. Uh, and that's the uh, one of the themes, well, one of the main themes in all her music from from Emotion on and to her follow-up album. Um, it's this unrequited love. There's always something, like, she's always, like, wanting. She's always, she's always looking and searching. And there's, like, this hopefulness, this, like, fun. This song alone typifies kind of what's gonna happen with like all the rest of her songs moving forward. Um, they're definitely like short little pop songs with a hook, but in a very um, uh, stylistic uh, her way, talking about the, uh, romance and talking about unrequited love and talking about um, desire. And um, I'll get a little bit more into that. But the most, uh, well, some of the interesting stuff is like the producers that she chose to like collaborate with. She chose people from Vampire Weekend. She chose Sia. She chose uh, people uh, uh, from Bleachers to help her produce these songs. And this was before like that became a trend to like um, collaborate with like these alternative pop uh, producers and bring them in. Um, it wasn't as trendy to do that. So I, 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 that's something I really love about the album itself. So yeah, she releases another album, 2019, Dedicate, and it's a, it's a little bit more of a mature, grown-up uh, version of Emotion, and that she's still talking about like uh, wanting love and searching for love, but she also admits about her, like her inefficiencies. Maybe she falls into love too quickly. Maybe she um, is too vulnerable. Maybe she's uh, kind of this hopeless romantic. And she has jealousy. She definitely has jealousy, and it, sometimes that jealousy it converts into her like into bad behavior. Um, and that's why I kind of really like about the music is like it does really feel like 
these songs are about her not just being uh, like an underdog in like the pop industry and people kind of viewing her and I think she knows that she knows like she's not the you know this uh, she's not like as popular this international star she's kind of like this uh, underdog pop star but she also feels like an underdog in love and I think that's what relates so much to me and that's I think that's why I uh, have a, uh, have uh, attached myself so much to her albums and become kind of a little bit obsessed with them is because the theming is like not being able to um, it's so hard to pinpoint love um, when it's not obvious why things don't work out you know um, it, I think it's easier when it's like oh like they they were long distance it would never have worked out or maybe they didn't want children and it wouldn't have worked out or they you know they have a whole different type of lifestyle whatever but it's much harder when you do click on most things but for some reason it's like this little piece that's not working out for whatever reason and maybe it's time maybe it's attachment issues maybe it's emotional maybe it's uh mental with spiritual whatever it is and that i think that's what hurts and i think that's what like is the thing like I, uh, I don't know, like why I really like how she explores in most of her music. She explores all those aspects of just like, try, like trying to figure out why it doesn't work out. Because I think that's how I have also think and uh, almost intellectualize uh, a lot of my prior relationships is I try to figure out, I try to like, what's the reason why it didn't work out? Um, and... Um, a lot of times there's just not an answer. Sometimes, honestly, it was just timing. Just bad timing. And it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. And I think that's the hard, that's the hard part. And it hurts. It hurts uh, uh, a lot when it's something like that. When something's like completely out of your control, like either of your control, right? But she doesn't just sit around um, just waiting for the guy to uh, uh, look for her and ask her out and everything. She also is working on herself. Um, she One of her songs is solo, and I love the song. It's about like um, understanding that just because you're not in a relationship, just because you're not in love, just because that person didn't return love like you wanted to, um, uh, you need to... Ex uh, it it's important to move on and be able to uh, accept things and, and like feeling grief for a relationship and for love and things that's normal but after a point you're you're just you're putting yourself low for no reason at all you're 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 becoming a masochist for for pain and for uh, dread and whatever it is um so but in this song she's like so what so what? You're alive. You have your future ahead of yourself. Like, like, I'm here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm picking you up, and uh, let's go. Let's 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 live life. And that that's what kind of and that's another theme. It's like she's not only talking about herself. She's talking to um, listeners. She's she talks directly to the people and says like, hey this happened to me and i know this happens to you and like we can make it through together it's almost like i am um going through my relationship problems alongside with her and i know that's how a lot of people feel with other artists like Terry. so but with uh, carly Rae jepsen she's so much more relatable to me she's very much like girl next door the canadian next door and for me uh, that's just much more relatable it's very hard for me to relate to Taylor Swift because uh, she's such a, she's more of an iconic person, but Kyrie Jepsen, I feel like it wouldn't be that crazy to like run into her and be like, hey, how are you doing? And then she just starts talking about her life and stuff and we just be chilling and talking. I don't think it'd be that weird. Um, so in my rabbit hole of like listening to her music, I started listening to a lot of her interviews and, and once again, it humanizes her a little bit more because she talks about like going on dating apps and how she hates the dating app world and life and how she's been, um, and like, she's been like 
screwed over honestly like there she talks about this guy who invited her to his malibu like house and there he was like hey actually i'm not you know i'm looking for anything serious i'm actually married um but if you want just something casual let me know and she's like he like like what is it like what kind of like so like she's not immune to that she's just trying to find love as i am and um She's just, uh, she's dang in her 30s. Dang in her 30s sucks. And I can, I can relate with her. She's 36 right now. I do feel like my life intersected with Carly Rae Jepsen's music it, more recently for very specific reasons. Um, I think um, I was supposed to um, listen to these songs and really uh, process some things and um, Maybe, maybe it can help you, and that's why I want to share. Well, that's why I want to share this, uh, um, th her music with the world. And um, I saw that she's actually coming to Salt Lake City uh, in October for a concert. I got super excited, and I, and, but the thing is, I got really scared, too, because I was like, no, like, I'm really now in, really into Calgary Jefferson, but I don't think anyone else is. And so I started texting people, like, hey, like, look, this is a serious thing. Like, this is not a joke. Do you want to go see Kari Ray Jepsen with me? And I got rejected again and again and again and again and again until someone finally said yes. And I'm going to see Kari Ray Jepsen in October. And I'm going to be there. Probably be one of 10 guys there. But I'm super excited. I'm very looking forward to it. I'm just like, I, 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 I'm very looking forward to just, I don't know, like leaving it all on the dance floor. And just like... Hopefully, and being able to like listen to her, and I, I'm sure she's gonna like share some just funny, funny stories and stuff. And I don't know. I feel like I, she feels like someone I, I kind of know, even though you know I don't know her. But and I'm excited to just see her in prison and just spend a fun night with Carly. So, um, if any of you are interested in joining, feel free to reach out to me. And I will, uh, you are free to uh, come with us and have a Carly party, all right? Um, if you're interested in uh, listening to some of the music I've been talking about, I have a playlist and I will send it to you. I might even put it in the description if I haven't. Um, but either way, uh, if you want it, I'll send it to you. Thank you for listening to my ramblings about Canadian musician Carly Rae Jepsen for uh, the last little bit. I really hope that this spurs you to listen to, maybe at least listen to Run Away With Me. At least just Google it, please, just YouTube it. It will make your day so much better. You'll be so much happier, I promise you. You'll be 10% happier, I can promise you uh, that from me. Um, and thank you for, yeah, listening. I hope you're doing well, hope you have a great day, and I hope you stay safe. Talk to you later, see ya. Hey, te conozco, y aunque no hay